on the show, Coco King, the revolutionary of Ghanaian breakfast. And Alberta Ampuma, the 17-year-old who represented Ghana at the 2012 Olympics. Dr. Kweku Frimpong on sickle cell. You see children dying from pneumonia, malaria. Among them are a large number with sickle cell disease, but we don't diagnose cell. All on today's episode. For your information, I am enterprising. Dream and achieve what you put your life in. And another week is here, and you know exactly where you need to be. Right here on the Bivol Show. Definitely. And today we have so many guests for you that we hope will inspire you to be just that, to be bold. You know the question I have for you guys out there today is what is stopping you from taking that risk? Is it fear? Is it not knowing what's going to be out there? Don't worry about that. Just take the risk and you never know where it's going to take you. Exactly. And today our first guest did just that. They took that risk. Who are we talking about? We're talking about those boys that you see on the streets who bring breakfast to you every day. You know breakfast is important, right? So when you miss it at home, where else can you get it? Right on the streets. And who are we talking about is the Coco Boys. I know you know exactly what I'm talking about. These guys, they... You know, the, yes, it's a business that they're starting, but I think it's a lot of common sense and determination as well. So let's take a look at who and what is behind Coco King. It is early Monday morning and you're stuck in traffic. You left home early to beat some traffic and be at work by, let's say, 8 a.m. So you didn't even bother making breakfast. You are hungry, stuck in traffic. What do you do? Get it, get it. Well, here comes Coco King for the rescue. Ghanaian traditional breakfast to satisfy your hunger. So, what are you selling here today? Okay, I'm having uh, oblayu, wheat, tomlau, soya porridge, rice porridge, white cuckoo, wow. and then sandwich. And sandwich? Yes. And then, how early in the morning do you begin work? Uh, I begin at 5.30. In the morning? Yes. And then you stand here and they come? Yes. Some of my customers park and then the other, uh, the rest be in the traffic. Okay. But Coco King is more than just what we see on the streets. It's a 24-7 food production business starting from Coco headquarters in East Legon. Production starts at 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. and the sales takes over at 6 a.m. and then they, call, they go to 6 p.m. So there's always work going on. Now there's work going on because they are sorting out the millet, they're sorting out how to get everything sorted. The 6 p.m. people would, would come and then they would start with the cooking. The packing will probably start around midnight, 11 p.m., 12 packing starts. The deliveries will probably start around 4 a.m. If the vehicles start moving out around 4 a.m. and then uh, the salespeople suddenly start probably 5:36, they they take over, and then it's like the admin people will come in the morning to check to make sure that all the meals are getting sorted, everything is going well. So 24 hours, 24 hours. Just uh, yeah, and just talk a bit. My name is Albert. Um, I wouldn't say I'm an entrepreneur. I would just say I'm just trying to. Uh, uh, make people's lives better, basically. It's makes, my, that's, that's what I would probably look at it. Uh, I'm 40 now. I've um, uh, been doing this for five years, uh, this Coco King issue for five years. Um, and uh, it's been a, uh, some sort of roller coaster, but then it's been interesting. Hmm. It's now, been interesting. before we get into everything, can mm -hmm. you just tell me a bit for the viewers that don't really know what Coco is? What is Coco? Well, cocoa is just po it's, it's porridge. Cocoa is porridge, a local name for porridge. Uh, and uh, just like your oats or your grits, um, uh, it's, it's, it's porridge where you cook, you cook it like, it's just cooking, it's like cooking porridge, any porridge at all. Uh, obviously you're using your water, your grains, your cereal, whatever, and then you put it on the fire, about three, four minutes or whatever it is, and then you've got your porridge ready to go. Now we do Hausa Koko, which is the northern form of the porridge. They've got different styles. So 
the house of cocoa is the northern type of the of uh, of the product, and it's made with millet. Now you are saying that you started this five years ago. Yeah. And yet, for me today, I see cocoa pink everywhere. Right. Okay. How did you begin? Oh, the, the beginning. The beginning was. Um, it was. It, it was interesting, I must say, because it wasn't. I didn't think I was going to do house of cocoa. That is what makes it interesting, because looking back, I, it could have been anything else. But in house of cocoa, because I thought house of cocoa was more. Uh, easily available. Uh, uh, people actually enjoyed it a lot more. Uh, and you see people queuing for it. Uh, and also, I, li I actually liked it. I actually enjoyed House of Coco myself. Because I used to buy some in the local area uh, every morning. I took my um, bowl to go there, get the porridge, get my kosi. And you go there, and the, the whole thing. I, it didn't click at first, but I, I, I knew that this wasn't right, you know, the way you get served, you have to wait in the queue, get served uh, with a cup in some sort of polythene bag and then it it for you. So I knew that wasn't right. I just knew that something. My interest was actually in food packaging, not in cooking. Food packaging was where I was coming from. And I was pursuing other things. I was thinking about things like plantain chips, uh, granuts, and all these things. And so, but then, as I was looking at all these things, I came across Hausa Koko. And I thought, this, could, this, this is it. I think this could, we could do something about this one. And then we started working on it, researching, finding out how, to, how they do it. But it took about several months, about six, seven months. And then we found a good cook, and then we found an, a place to do it. And then I woke up and I said, let's go for it. Let's see how it goes. Now, I understand that when you started Coco King, mm -hmm. you were selling out of the boot of a taxi. Oh, yes. The with first, your chef. Yes. The taxi was actually ours. Okay. It, was, it was a vehicle we had, which we, we actually registered to be a taxi. So it was doing its own thing. But then, when the Coco King started, we didn't have any vehicle. So we thought, okay, let's just stop the t this taxi business, bring the car, let's put it in the car, and let's go and use it to sell. Yeah. So we took the car, we got a location, one of the offices in, in town, and then we just, every morning we take about 20 pieces, 20 packs, we go, and they come, they buy one city each. They were trying it out, and then they, in turn, would recommend us to go to another uh, office, and then we go there, and day to day start buying, and then we move to another office, and they start, start buying, and they tell us to go here, and then, so we were just moving. We were just going. And, uh, costly way of um, starting, but the best way, because they, they, we were actually there where they were. And so they tried it, they commented on it, they gave you all the feedback you wanted. You were there with them, so they were your customers, so you were just... So now you see us everywhere, it's because we were actually in the offices first. We came out to town just about a year ago. How do you keep it competitive with all the other cocoa sellers? Convenience. Convenience. That's, a, that's, that's, that's what we sell it. We don't, we, don't, we don't actually sell porridge, you know. We sell convenience. Uh, we sell hygiene, we sell convenience, we sell... Um, people get it wrong, they say, they say oh, they sell cocoa king, they sell cocoa. No, 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 we don't sell cocoa. We actually sell convenience, because that's where the need is, obviously. We, uh, I need some food in the morning. So can I get some? Let me just grab a pack and go. No waiting, no queuing. We don't like people queuing, waiting. It's not in our nature. We just don't want you to stay there for more than a minute or two. You get your pack and you go. Yeah. When will you sit back, relax, and say, I did it? Not long. Not long. What we are trying to do now is um, I am trying to, uh, we, well, we are still doing it, getting some structures in place where um, you would, I, w I would move on. I know that for certain. I would move on. Uh, because as I told you, it was food packaging. It wasn't cooking. Cooking fell into that. Uh, and I'm also interested in other food packaging as well. 
Uh, we have sources here in this country. We have other products here where you can plug it very nicely and people will enjoy and buy. So I think I'll be, I'll be focusing on that. But this one will probably move on to become its own entity, uh, its own brand, and grow to become, hopefully, to become one of the biggest brands. I look at companies like Fun Milk in Ghana, and that's, that's the kind of companies I look at at, the, at this stage. If you can get anywhere than near that in the next five years. You started out hands-on, very yeah. small, yeah. in something you sort of just fell into, and now yeah. you've gotten this company, and you're, you know, you're moving on, you're moving yeah. forward. Yeah. What is the, the, the most important thing you've learned and the advice that you could give to the youth watching you right now who want to set up their own thing? I reckon, um, for me, the biggest thing that if I had in hindsight, if I knew, I thought my biggest challenge would be finance, uh, considering the fact that we didn't start with much, because by the time we started, all the money had finished. But then my biggest challenge ended up becoming people, managing people, be patient, because whatever you're starting now, uh, it, it, people, it would take time for people to buy into it, to, 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 to get to want to buy whatever you're buying. Because, it, I mean, nobody knows you. And you are now finding your feet as well. So you've got to have to just, because if you think, oh, I'm going to start and but within the next year, we're going to make 10,000 kind of cities and we're going to grow and we're going to move. It's nice to have that. I, I, I had that. I was thinking by year two, you're selling this, year three, you had goals. So I, I thought even they were achievable goals because they were actually, I thought they were realistic goals and very underestimated goals. But then we didn't even make, we didn't even break even until last year. Which yeah. is four years later. Almost, yeah. So you have to have stamina, you have to be persistent, you have to be, have this very strong will, very determined. You can't listen to people just for the sake of it. Concentrate on what you're doing and then drive it through. Then you get to a stage when you start to give the task down, just give it to other people to handle. And then you just look at the, 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 the long term, and then that's it, you're done. But it's hard work, very, very hard work. Because I've done 18 hour days, like three, four months to go. Sometimes even for six months, 18 hours daily, six, six days a week. And if you're doing 18 hours a day for six months, you can imagine the, 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 the strain it, it would take. But um, you, you, sometimes you need to do that to keep things together, especially at the in infant stage, because the least thing can just turn everything. And then my name is Albert. I'm from uh, Coco King Limited. I'd just like to tell you viewers to be um, uh, uh, to go for what you believe in, be patient, and uh, be bold. Thank you. I love them. Wow, Coco King. And can you believe they start the night before so that early in the morning they're ready to go. And they started from the boot of a taxi. 20 yeah. meals at first, and now they're like 100 locations all over the country. All over and Accra and Tema, right? Yeah. yeah, and check this. They have a <laughs> website. I mean, cococking.com.gh. Coco? Why are you so confused about no, that? because Coco has a website. <laughs> Do you have a website out there? Come on, Coco, that you drink. They have a website. Mm. You can go on, check on. And here we are, some of us who have businesses that are probably even doing well as well, don't even have websites. Definitely. It's a global village. It's a global world. Get on there. Get your website. Because if Coco has a website and you don't, <laughs> Suspect. All I know is that Coco, <laughs> they save us in the morning. Those early mornings when you're stuck in traffic, you haven't eaten because you rushed out of the house, and ta-da, <laughs> there they are. I love it. They're just fantastic. Now, well, obviously, for more information, you can go onto our website and find out all about Coco King, or as Crystal said, you can go to their website. But for now, we are going to be going for a little break. We'll be back. Still to come, Alberta Ampuma, the 17-year-old weightlifter who represented Ghana at the Olympics. And Dr. Kweku Frimpong on sickle cell.